10 Best Picks Presents the Top 10 Best Cameras for Vlogging Starting at number 10. GoPro HERO 9 Black. The GoPro HERO 9 Black is the most powerful and versatile action camera you can buy, but collectively its new features don't provide quite enough real-world benefits over its predecessor to justify the price. The two biggest upgrades are its new sensor and front display. That new 23. 6MP sensor shoots 5K video that does deliver slightly more detail than the Hero 8 Black, in the right conditions. But perhaps the bigger benefit is to its electronic stabilization, with the Hero 9 Black able to provide hyper-smooth boost, GoPro's strongest stabilization, in all shooting modes. This makes it a top performer for those who demand high-quality 4K video. However, you can get a sizable discount on the Hero 9 Black if you get it with a one-year GoPro subscription. If you go this route, the GoPro Hero 9 Black is available to buy $349.99 pounds. $99,559.95, including the subscription. Formerly known as GoPro Plus, the latter brings advantages like unlimited cloud storage and replacements for broken cameras. While GoPro is clearly hoping you'll carry on paying the $49.99 pounds, $99.69, $99 annual subscription after the first year, it is possible to cancel the auto renewing service. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. At number 9. DJI Osmo Action. The DJI Osmo Action is, as the name implies, a small action camera. It competes directly against a GoPro HERO 8 Black in the market, and while we named the GoPro as our top pick for action cams in general, the Osmo is a fine alternative for vloggers. Its built-in front LCD lets you keep an eye on your shot when pointing the lens in your direction, and the Osmo supports external mix and lens filters. The Actions camera features a 12MP sensor combined with an ultra-wide-angle lens. With its 148-degree field of view and an f2.8 aperture, it competes with the HERO7 Black head-on, and with its slightly larger 1300 mAh battery, lasts that bit longer. Video is captured at resolutions ranging from 720p through to 4K, and at either 4.3 or 16.9 aspect ratio, and at up to 60fps. All but the 4K, 4.3, 60fps setting also support DJI's proprietary image stabilization system, Rocksteady. While video captured on GoPros is a touch flatter, lending itself to being edited, so video professionals could well prefer it, the action's footage is a bit more Instagram-ready and accessible from a price point of view. It isn't perfect, there are live view lag issues at max resolution, and the app experience was nothing short of terrible, but if you're looking for an action cam that's going to give you maximum bang for buck, the Osmo Action delivers. Number 8 of my list. Panasonic Lumix DCG100. The Panasonic Lumix DCG100 is a compact micro four-thirds camera targeted toward bloggers. It has a very bright fully articulating LCD with on-screen buttons for still and video capture, a large red video record button on the top plate, and a directional microphone. It captures UHD 4K at up to 30p, 1080 at 60p, and high speed at up to 120fps. It also has Vlog L built in. The G100 uses a 20MP 4 thirds sensor, though it lacks in-body image stabilization like most Panasonic ilks. It uses the company's depth from Deficus Contrast Detect AF system. The large field sequential electronic viewfinder has an equivalent of 3.68 million dots. The camera can shoot as fast as 10 FPS with continuous AF using its electronic shutter, or 5 FPS with its mechanical shutter. It supports the optional DMWS HGR1 selfie stick mini tripod combination, which connects over USB. The Panasonic Lumix DCG100 is one of the more affordable mirrorless cameras targeted at vloggers, coming in at $750 with a lens, and at $800 if you also want to add a video grip, a tabletop tripod that folds into a pistol grip, for better ergonomics when recording handheld.
It supports the Micro Four Thirds lens system, records video at 4K, and includes in-camera stabilization. External microphones are supported, but Panasonic promises the camera's Nokia Ozo microphone array is good enough to use without one. Coming at number 7. Fujifilm X-T4. He Fujifilm X-T4 is the company's latest high-end photo and video app C mirrorless camera. It brings in body stabilization, faster shooting, improved autofocus and a larger battery to the already very capable X-T3. Fujifilm says that the X-T4 is a sister model to the X-T3, rather than a replacement, which is borne out by the specs and pricing. It's a 26MP camera capable of 20fps shooting and 4K capture at up to 60p. In use we found it offers distinct benefits over both the X-T3 and the older X-H1. And, although the autofocus performance is in cutting edge, it offers one of the best stills and video options you can buy. The Fujifilm X-T4 is packed to the gills with imaging features, but it's also the best video camera the company has ever made. It supports 4K capture at 10-bit quality, offers a flat profile for color grading, and 5-axis image stabilization for smoother handheld footage. Support for external microphones is there, and you can connect headphones via USB-C for monitoring. If you don't want to grade your own video, in-camera profiles are vast, and offer looks ranging from bleach bypass to black and white. At number 6. GoPro HER08. Action camera is becoming a misleading title. These tiny cameras can be used in a much wider variety of settings than the name implies, from nabbing extreme sports shots to recording Netflix-level movies. And GoPro's latest flagship, the HER08 Black, is the best of the bunch. When it comes to vlogging, the HER08 Black has several features that make it stand out. It uses a new version of GoPro's incredible electronic image stabilization, called HyperSmooth, which is simply the best of any camera out there. Whether you're just walking and talking or bombing down a narrow single-track trail on your mountain bike, the HER08 Black keeps your footage impressively smooth. Beyond that, GoPro introduced a new series of accessories for the HER08 called Mods. These allow you to connect a mini shotgun microphone, flip-up selfie screen, and a video light to the HER08, turning into a powerful production tool. Built around the same GP1 custom processor introduced in the HER06, the HER08 Black records 4K video at up to 60 frames per second or 1080p up to 240 FPS for slow motion playback. The user interface, which was already one of our favorites, has been updated to be even easier to navigate. It should come as no surprise that we picked it as the best action camera for 2020. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Canon EOS 90D ADSLR shouldn't be your first choice when it comes to vlogging the optical viewfinder preferred by some still photographers, is completely useless for video when the camera is in live view mode and you have to frame your shot on the rear LCD screen. That means you're carrying around bulk you don't need and paying for a feature you can't use. However, a DSLR does offer some benefits for still photography, like excellent battery life that make a camera like the 90D appeal to hybrid shooters who need both a great still camera and a capable video camera. The 90D is Canon's first DSLR to shoot 4K video from the full width of the sensor. Older 4K models would crop the sensor, changing the look of your lenses and making it difficult to get a wide-angle perspective. The 90D also allows you to use Canon's dual pixel autofocus in 4K mode, something that some of its other cameras do not. DPAF is what allows the 90D to behave like a mirrorless camera when in live view mode, offering very smooth and fast focus acquisition. It's impressive tech and works well to keep you or your subject in focus when you're a one-person crew. The fully articulating touchscreen and microphone and headphone jacks are also pluses. On the still photography front, the Canon EOS 90D uses a 33-megapixel APS-C sensor, the highest resolution sensor of its format. While all of those pixels don't add anything to the video mode, they do grant extra room to crop or more detail for making large prints. Overall, the 90D is a generalist. It's well suited to multiple roles, if not the best at any one of them. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Panasonic Lumix G7. 
Released way back in 2015, the Lumix G7 may not be the newest model, but it still packs a punch when it comes to video, and its age means it is now quite a bit cheaper than it once was. Like the higher-end GH5, the G7 shoots 4K video from a micro four-thirds sensor and is compatible with the full range of micro four-thirds lenses. It also features a 180-degree tilt screen and a microphone jack. There's no headphone jack, but the mic input is definitely the more important of the two. One potential red flag for vloggers is that the G7 makes do without the impressive in-body image stabilization found in the GH5, meaning you'll need to rely on lens stabilization for your handheld shots. Fortunately, the bundled kit lens is stabilized, although as always, you'll get the best results with a tripod, monopod, or gimbal. We should also draw attention to the Lumix G85, an upgrade over the G7, that is based on a similar sensor, but includes in-body stabilization. The G85 does cost more, but it may be worth it if you do a lot of run and gun video shooting. At Number 3. Sony a7 III. Sony's mirrorless cameras have always been powerful hybrid machines, and the newest a7 III combines stunning image quality with great 4K video from its stabilized, 24-megapixel full-frame sensor. It doesn't offer all the advanced video functionality of the Panasonic GH5, but it does include a microphone jack, dual South Dakota card slots, and Sony's flat S-Log color profile for holding onto more dynamic range, if you don't mind spending some time color correcting in post. It also doesn't have a fully articulating screen, but Sony's excellent real-time eye autofocus makes it easy to film yourself, even if you can't see what you're shooting. While the GH5 may best it for video in some areas, the Sony comes out ahead in still photography, and by quite a large margin. It produces some of the best image quality of any camera on the market. This is why it's a great option for one-person teams who need to produce both video and still content that stands out from the crowd. That full-frame sensor also gives the a7 III an edge in low light. From your living room to a trade show floor, that can be a huge advantage in any dimly lit location. The Sony a7 III is the most expensive option on this list, and it's not for everyone, but if you're looking to take the next step in your stills and video production, it's certainly worth your consideration. Coming at number 2. Sony Alpha A6600. The Sony A6600's larger APS-C sensor means better performance in low light and an even shallower depth of field for blurrier backgrounds compared to a compact camera like the ZV-1. It isn't the best video camera outright, but it has one feature that makes it stand out for vloggers compared to competing mirrorless models, real-time IAF. Sony's artificial intelligence-based autofocus is simply the best we've seen when it comes to accurately tracking your eyes and face. This removes perhaps the biggest pain point from vlogging. Even if you partially block the A6600's flip-up screen by mounting a microphone to the top of the camera, you can still trust it will keep you in sharp focus. The A6600's 5-axis stabilization system keeps those walk-and-talk shots steady, while the, the microphone and headphone jacks let you hook up high-quality external microphones and monitor your audio easily. The biggest downside of the A6600 is that, for all the advanced features it offers, it still falls behind the competition in pure video quality. It records 4K only in 8-bit, whereas competing cameras like the Panasonic Lumix GH5 and Fujifilm X-T4 offer 10-bit color. Its older sensor is also prone to jello cam, a type of wobbly distortion that occurs when the camera moves too quickly. Still, the Sony A6600 remains a balanced camera that's affordably priced and packs a lot of features into a small body, making it a dream vlogging tool for those who can afford it. And number 1. Sony ZV-1. This offshoot of Sony's popular RX100 line was built specifically with vloggers and YouTubers in mind. It features an upgraded, three-capsule microphone and includes a windsock to help with recording higher audio quality outdoors. The RX100's pop-up flash and viewfinder have vanished to make room for the improved microphone, but it's a trade-off vloggers will appreciate. The new Vari angle screen is also a welcome change, which now flips out to the side for better visibility. Internally, the ZV-1 has the same 20-megapixel 1-inch type sensor as the RX100 Vi, which was our pick for the best point-and-shoot camera. However, rather than use the 24-200mm to f2, 
5 lens of the RX100 by Sony opted for the shorter 24 to 70 mm f1. 82. 8 lens of older RX100 cameras. This has a number of advantages for video, starting with the wider aperture that allows for a shallower depth of field for blurring out backgrounds. This lens also incorporates a built-in neutral density filter which helps when shooting in bright light by acting like sunglasses for your camera. This allows for a slower shutter speed, keeping footage smooth and natural. Sony also built several features into the ZV-1 designed specifically for the modern content creator who may not be an experienced videographer. This includes a background defocus mode that automatically selects the widest aperture when enabled, and a product highlight mode that tunes the autofocus to quickly transition from the presenter's face to a product held in front of them, snapping back to the face when the product is lowered from view. While Digital Trends has yet to test the Sony ZV-1, it is already popular with the numerous vloggers who had their hands on it prior to launch. Combined with our experience with Sony's RX100 series, we feel confident in recommending it. For more information and price, check out the product links in description underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.